27th October Saint Frumentus According to the 4th century historian Tyrrhenius Rufinus who cites Frumentus brother Edesius as his authority as children Frumentius and Edesius accompanied their uncle Merophius from their birthplace of Tyre now in Lebanon on a voyage to Ethiopia when they trip stopped at one of the harbors of the Red Sea local people massacred the whole crew sparing the two boys who were taken as slaves to the king of Aksum the two boys soon gained the favor of the king who raised them to positions of trust shortly before his death the king freed them the widowed queen however prevailed upon them to remain at the court and assist her in the education of the young heir azana and in the administration of the kingdom during the prince's minority they remained and especially frumentius used their influence to spread christianity first they encouraged the christian merchants present in the country to practice their faith openly and they helped them find places where they could come together for prayer according to the roman right later they converted some of the natives when the prince came of age edesius returned to tyre where he stayed and was ordained a priest frumentius eager for the conversion of ethiopia accompanied his brother as far as alexandria where he requested athanasius patriarch of alexandria to send a bishop and some priests as missionaries to ethiopia by athanasius own account he believed frumentius to be the most suitable person for the job and consecrated him as bishop traditionally in the year 328 or according to others between 340 and 346 he converted many people to christianity before his death in 380 frumentius returned to ethiopia where he erected his episcopal see at aksum then converted and baptized king ezana who built many churches and spread christianity throughout ethiopia frumentius established the first monastery of ethiopia the people people called frumentius revealer of light and father of peace he became the first abune a title given to the head of the ethiopian church